My name's Abigail and this is my Nespresso Barista Masterclass. I'm going to show you how to be a barista at home with your virtual machine. In this video, I'll look at the cup sizes you can make with your virtual machine. We'll also look at the classic coffee shop recipes and some speciality recipes like the affogato and how to use alternative milks. Then we'll look at some iced coffees perfect for summer. First up, I want to talk about the basics of the virtual machine, the cup sizes. So we have espresso, double espresso, gran lungo, mug, and Alto. You can see here the virtual machine offers a variety of cup sizes and this is because the machine instead of a pressure system uses centrifusion. So what this means is the virtual machine you pop the capsule in and as the capsule spins within the machine water is pushed through and the coffee is brewed. You can see here on the capsule there's a barcode and this tells the machine what size to brew the coffee at. So look at that crema, so gorgeous. So the crema is made up of oils of the coffee. So during extraction, they've separated up to the top. So what I love to do is with a spoon, gently fold the crema back into the body of the coffee. And you're gonna end up with a creamier drink. Next up, the reverso. This is when the milk is added prior to brewing the coffee. I'm going to add a little bit of cold milk to the glass, about 20% full, and I'm going to brew my coffee on top. Because the cold milk was added first, it's heated up a little slower with the hot coffee, so it ends up with a creamier drink. One way to further enhance this is by using a spoon and slowly folding in that crema with the milk. And look at that, we're gonna have a beautiful creamy mouth filled with this coffee. Similar to the reverso, we have the latte macchiato, but instead of using cold milk, I'm gonna use hot foam. This just elevates that drink a little bit more and you're left with a super rich texture that's so gorgeous. I'm first gonna make my hot foam with the Arachino 3. Just fill it in a touch and press the button. Add that frothed milk to the glass. Brew our coffee on top. The addition of frothed milk in this recipe gives this a luxurious texture and it's such a pleasure to drink. The espresso macchiato is the perfect choice for someone who loves a powerful espresso with just a touch of milk. I'm going to use the Arachino 4 for that because it has a button just for macchiato foam. So what this means is it's nice, thick, dry and it's perfect to dollop on the top of your espresso. I'm just going to put this in here to the minimum line and press the macchiato button. The espresso macchiato starts with an espresso. So look at that crema. We're going to use the milk from the Arachino. And it's got a beautiful dry texture that you can almost just dollop on top of that crema. So macchiato means stain in Italian. We're going to use this crisp white foam to stain the top of that dark rich crema. Beautiful. I'm going to show you how to make a cappuccino at home. This drink is the quintessential Italian cafe style recipe. It's just so easy with the Virtro machine. I'm going to use the Arachino 3 with it and the way it froths, it develops this really creamy but airy texture that is perfect for the cappuccino recipe. 
I'm going to use the double espresso size. This is because I love a little bit more coffee taste with my cappuccino and it blends just perfectly with milk. So look at that crema, it's going to blend perfectly with this milk from the arachino. Oh, look at that. The perfect cappuccino. The notes of this coffee transforms into caramel and biscuit with the addition of milk and it just harmonises perfectly on the palate. I want to talk to you about speciality coffee recipes. These are a great way for you to jazz up your repertoire as a home barista. I'm going to start with non-dairy milk. Here I've got some oat drink. I'm going to make a reverso with this. So just add some oat to about there and we're going to brew our coffee on top. Look at that amazing foam on top. Because I've just added cold oat to the drink, it's heated up slowly and combined with the natural crema of the coffee and given you this beautiful and tasty drink. As part of the Barista Creations range, we have these three flavoured coffees. They resemble the aroma of a freshly cooked cafe treat. We've got vanilla custard pie, caramel cookie, and hazelino muffin. These are roast and ground coffee with a natural aroma added to it. They are just so gorgeous and smell amazing. I'm gonna make the hazelino muffin now. Wow, I can smell the hazelnut aroma from here. These coffees are great with or without milk. Perfect to just sip and enjoy. The mocha is a beautiful and rich recipe combining coffee and chocolate. I'm going to use the barista recipe maker for this because I can use real chocolate. I'm going to add four Nespresso chocolate squares to the jug. I'm going to add around 60 mils of milk. I'm also going to add a double espresso. Add this to the jug. Pop the lid on and I'm going to select my recipe. So I'm going to pour this into my glass. Wow, it smells incredible. The key to making a good mocha is using real chocolate. It just looks so decadent and delicious. I love the affogato. I find it's the perfect way to end a nice dinner party. It's so easy to make. All you have to do is add some vanilla ice cream to a glass. And we're going to brew our coffee on top. As I enjoy the affogato after dinner, I've used the decaffeinato capsule. Affogato actually means drowned in Italian. You can see here the vanilla ice cream is drowning in that espresso. It looks so indulgent and delicious. I'm going to show you how to make iced coffees. Nespresso makes it so easy to make these coffees at home. We've got two different coffees designed specifically to be enjoyed over ice. I'm going to start with the black coffee over ice. I'm going to get my long glass and fill it with ice cubes. I'm going to add a little bit of syrup just to zhuzh it up a little bit. I think for this one coconut would be really delicious. Just a teaspoon. And look at that coffee. So refreshing on a hot day and just done with a press of one button. Next up, I'm going to make the iced latte. This is so easy with the Arachino 3 as you can make cold froth with this machine. 
going to pour the milk in and I'm going to hold down the button for three seconds until it turns blue. This will froth the milk but it won't heat it. I'm going to add the ice to my glass. Two, three, four. And this cold froth on top. Look at that. Look how beautiful these layers look. You can see the cold froth has paired really well with the hot coffee and the ice. So that's my Nespresso Barista Masterclass. I hope you enjoyed. Now it's time for you to be a barista at home with your virtual machine. <laughs>